Coming up this week on The Chill. We're now pulling into Northern Alberta, Lone Pine Outfitters. Bruce and I are pulled. The choice begins right now. Welcome to this week's choice. And this week's choice is, well, we would definitely choose to be in a warmer situation. <laughs> well, kind of like what we've got this week on the show is we have Joe Rush and Bruce Carroll. Right. A couple of our posse guy. They're going to go up to northern Alberta, go spring bear hunting with big bear country outfitters. Warmer and weather. In warm weather. Well, they do get snowed on, but yep. that's besides the point. Then, later on the show, we have Freddie and Art going with Lone Pine Outfitters, who's associated with Big Bear Country. And at Southern Alberta. Southern Alberta. Where they're hunting elk. Where it's elk. definitely warmer. Yes. They're yes. hunting elk in actually farm country right. and white-tailed deer. So you do not want to miss this week's show. Right. And don't and forget. The Thompson Center logo is the, the big lucky TC. logo. Yeah, the big, big TC, TC logo. You find it, we'll tell you at the end of the show what to do with it. T-C. Right, it's like a big T and a C. Oh, C would go that way. Like a T and a C. Let's just roll the footage. T-C. T. -C. T -C. Get ready to unload a four-wheeler, go in, bait, pick out which thing we're going to hunt at, and hopefully kill a monster tonight. This is my first day up here in northern Alberta. Got the camera set up and everything. Didn't even have my bow pulled up yet. And this bear came in. At first we didn't think he was that big, but then when he walked by the barrel, we thought it was a good. I seen him down below and I, I thought I'd only get one long. The longer you watch a bear, the bigger it gets. We put our heart on it. Look at the beam and at the Luminox sticking on it. 
went square through him. He came in earlier. Came in, messed around, took some bait out, and another one showed up. It's awesome. We still have a bear right here. There's another bear right here. He didn't even leave. He's just walking around. So. Four hours. I think we're going to switch up. Let Joe pick up the bow. I'm going to grab the camera. We're going to see if we can shoot another one tonight. Hey, congratulations, Bruce. Now, you don't want to go anywhere because right after this commercial break, it's Joe's turn. Joe's turn. Yeah, and it happens pretty darn quick, so don't go anywhere. From the same stand. Yeah, shh. Don't, don't say no. Okay. Why do we do that? Because I'm cold. I want to get in the house. <laughs> Are you comfy? I'm warmer. Okay, well, welcome back to Choice. Well, Bruce, you got your bear, and now it's Joe Rushes. It's his first real bear hunt to go. He's filmed us, but he's never actually went hunting bears. And now he's in the What's same What's the difference tree? between a, a real bear hunt and... Huh? I meant like he was on a bear hunt filming us. He's never actually been in a tree stand or on a bear hunt with his bow in his hand. Oh, I was Ignored just checking. Ignored the man on the bear rug. Let's just get into Joe's first hunt. You go, Would Joe. Would you just be quiet? I came around the other side of the tree because we're in a tree that's only about this big. That bear was feet right here. We stopped. He walked back out in the woods. He came back out. He's feet again. I now have my bow. If he walks by that barrel, we're going to size him up. And if he's at that grease spot right at the top of the barrel, he's going to get smoked. Jason told us what to shoot, and when, he get, when we see what we're looking for, the trigger's going. Did you see Joe's eyes? He's hooked on bearing down. As my first black bear, we weren't sure. We weren't sure, we weren't sure, we weren't sure. And we got to talking after we let him go the last time. If he came back, we thought he was a shooter. We regretted letting him walk that first time. So uh, he came in quarter two, I didn't have a shot anyway. We went over there and fed on the bait that he left. <laughs> and when he came out, uh, I'm shaking. Okay, I like bear hunting. <laughs> Ugh, woman, let's go recover bear. Hey, congratulations, you two. Now let's go recover that double header uh. bears. <laughs> Bruce has got a bear we gotta get first. We're right down there. So we're gonna switch camera again. And this time we don't have to do it in the tree. Bruce, wanna go get your bear? Okay. Right, man. <laughs> I might be a little messed up. That's a good bear. That's a nice bear. Oh yeah. Look at this bear. It's got a pretty good melon on it. I can't believe that. Two bears from the same stand. You ready to go see yours, Joe? Yeah, I am. Let's go. Alright, buddy. Here's the headset. That first bear, dude. Bruce had to hunt today. He shot one. This one came in with it, and we shot this one too. Just switched positions and had a great hunt. And uh, judging bears is not easy. We tried to use that barrel. And, uh, it's a great bear, man. I probably, I know Jason's got some awesome bears up here. We've got two bears in Alberta. This is my first, and the next one I think is going to be bigger. That's what I like about Alberta. Two bears are better than one. You got that out there pretty good. That was yes, good. Thank you. We also have Freddie is going to go elk and whitetail hunting on that combo hunt with Lone Pine. So don't go anywhere because we've got lots more action coming. <gasps> so much hunting to choose from. 
Welcome back. We got a lot of firsts, and this time Freddie's up to bat, and he's going on his first elk hunt. We got the herd spotted, and uh, they're on their way in here to bed for the morning. We're set up like 20 yards from the crossing. We can hear the bull bugling, and we've got the cows already spotted, so they should be crossing right there at that spruce tree in front of me. That was pretty neat. <laughs> that was really, really cool. <laughs> you know, on that elk hunt, it's a three-point rule. So Freddie was dying, but he had to let that spike bull walk. I know it hurt Freddie bad. Did you just say lunch? You get lunch on an elk hunt? What kind of hunt is this? That's right, I said lunch. It's not like this is your typical elk hunt anyways. It's not like we're backpacking four hours up a mountain and four hours back in the evening. And besides, you think I got this fat for missing meals? Shooter we've seen from the ground blind. He's obviously 
obviously never been past this ground blind before. He was looking the whole time he came. He got to like 50 yards, took off. Pretty much the story of the week. Hey Freddy, you tried, that's all you could do. It doesn't always happen on the first time out there. That's why they call it hunting. Welcome back. We're getting right back with Big Bear Country Outfitters, Joe and Bruce. We'll see what happens. Woo -hoo. Joe, they're paws, not feet. I bet you he calls these toenails. He probably polishes them. <laughs> <laughs> Ralph, Vicky, thank you guys. Big Bear, thank you guys. I mean, this is just, I couldn't ask for anything more. What an experience. Ralph and Vicky, when I told them, Jay said that we're gonna be staying in a hotel. They've been camping in Alberta forever. We're staying in a hotel and shooting Bruins like this. Well, I can tell you it's getting chillier. The sun's going down. I think it's time to go watch another choice show instead. You of, think so? Instead yes. of standing out here freezing yes. to death? Mm -hmm. Okay, well, hey, Joe, Bruce, Freddie, all of you, congrats for having so much fun up there in Alberta. Thanks, Alberta Tourism, for helping us out on all Lone this. Lone Pine Outfitters. Big Bear, Big Bear Country. Country Outfitters. Yes. Most of all, all we want to thank you for making your choice. The choice. And if you saw the TC logo, TC. log on to www.thechoicetv.com. Click on the lucky logo button fill it out and someone's gonna get some goodies some goodies some yeah. tc goodies some tc goodies and mm. some other stuff too mm -hmm. you never know so thanks a bunch mm. we'll see you next week can we go now yes because i'm cold <laughs>